Hello, my scented friends. Welcome back to this wonderful, heavenly smelling corner of the internet called My World of Fragrance. Today's topic is clean fragrances, just fresh, laundry-esque, clean, inoffensive. These are the kind of fragrances that you just want to wear when you're wearing a crisp white shirt like this one. No, I'm not cliche at all, am I? Fragrances that are suitable for a white t-shirt, they give you that just clean vibe and you guys know i'm all about dirty fragrances i love a dirty fragrance you know what i mean but sometimes you just want to smell clean and that is absolutely okay these are also good fragrances to kind of reset if you've been wearing a lot of heavy stuff and you want to you know reset smell clean for the entire day if it's summer winter fall whatever there are no rules in fragrance really so let's talk clean so the first fragrance is from Juliet Has a Gun, and perfume purists will probably say that this is not even a perfume, and guess what? The name is not a perfume, because the point is, it's not supposed to smell like a perfume, it's supposed to smell like detergent, it's supposed to smell like clean sheets, and I'm actually wearing this today. This is as basic as anyone could possibly get when it comes to perfume. People who are offended by perfume or perhaps a little bit sensitive to the scent of perfume can simply just spray this on your clothing and you're gonna smell like laundry detergent. It's not far off from just using like some sort of fabric softener or a detergent that you like the smell of, that cotton fresh kind of scent. So it's got ambroxan and cetaloxin here, which is used in detergents. It's not a perfume, and that is true, but yeah, for those of you who would like something super basic in the clean realm, this one is pretty much a no-brainer. Now that it is getting super warm in the northern hemisphere, I actually do prefer to wear this kind of fragrance on clothing versus on skin, just because if you're having this body odor thing, I'd like to keep it separate from this clean smell. I feel like sometimes if it meshes too much, I know that all these like perfume people are telling you, spray everything on skin, it reacts differently to skin chemistry and all of that. But if you wanna just smell fresh and clean, I'm not trying to get notes to pop up. I'm not trying to make my fragrance warmer or more rounded or anything like that. If I just wanna smell clean like detergent, that's all I wanna smell. So basically, Feel free to spray these on clothing. Yes, I give you permission. <laughs> so when it comes to smelling clean, the classic is one detergent, two musk. A lot of detergents have this white musk kind of scent. I'm gonna do a video just on musks and I'll do white musks and dark musks as well. My goodness, I have so many videos to film. This is one example of a musk, but this is from a Middle Eastern brand, ASQ Abu Samad Al Qurashi's Body Musk. This is Another no-brainer musk, but what I like about this musk is that it's not just basic. It also has little floral undertones that push that musk forward, so it's not just detergent. It's, you know, it's clean florals incorporated into this white musk scent. It's another no-brainer fragrance. It's one that I recommend always for gifts if you're trying to, you know, buy something for someone from a Middle Eastern brand. The packaging is nice, the bottle is nice, and then it doesn't cost a ton either. The bottle is also super heavy, so for what you're getting, you know, price-wise and scent-wise is actually really good. This is the Parfum, it says. I wouldn't say that this is a 12-hour long-lasting scent or anything. I have to respray this perhaps after six hours I respray this and yeah it's a really nice musk unisex as well the next fragrance that I have is from another Middle Eastern brand called the fragrance kitchen TFK it is called musky ever after so it's another take on a musk this one however I get play-doh vibes from like clean play-doh it kind of helps me like scratch an itch that I have for the smell of Play-Doh, but um, not in a hypnotic poison kind of Play-Doh way, but a clean Play-Doh. It's, it's an interesting scent, and I have said before that this reminds me of Clouds by Moschino. Somebody else has also commented that this reminds them of Trussard di Donna or Gold by Tous, so that's up to you to compare. I don't necessarily find that it smells like those, but it is this clean, white musky scent that people love, people enjoy, you get compliments on. It's like very office friendly. 
and I find that this one also lasts decently. A bit pricier than the ASQ, but another option for a musky scent. The next fragrance is from a brand that hails from Dublin, Ireland, and I don't know very many Irish brands out there. Do leave me a comment if you know any other Irish brands. But this is called Rhodes, and the fragrance is called Cloud Nine. So it's about being in Cloud Nine, right? That simplicity, that elegance, cleanliness. It's definitely a clean scent, but it has some woody aspects in there. It has a little bit of floral aspects in there, but a little bit of woody aspects as well. And then that detergent-esque clean shirt vibe about it as well. Definitely an interesting brand, Rhodes, to check out. And I find that their prices are also in that premium price range, so they're not overly expensive and for what you get you actually do get quality scents. The next fragrance is a Chanel and of course I had to include a Chanel because their DNA is actually quite clean like that aristocratic French clean you know what I mean. The one that I picked is to me the cleanest Chanel. The cologne could arguably also be a clean one but I categorize that more as a citrusy fragrance. The one that I'm talking about is can you guess Number 22 by Chanel from my EDT bottle, reformulated. Still a great fragrance, except Chanel keeps hiking up their prices like every quarter of a year, pretty much. So yeah, definitely savoring this version of number 22. This is an aldehydic fragrance, but this is the cleanest aldehydic fragrance that I've smelled personally. Let me know if you've smelled others that are possibly cleaner or on the same level. Um, aldehydes are usually used to give that soapy vibe. So they have this very soapy, like soap sud kind of vibe, but like in high altitude, as if you're washing your hands on the top of a mountain. <laughs> Does that make sense? Chanel number 22, I find it just perfectly unisex on a gentleman. It would just smell like extremely clean. I heard of someone who was like a nurse or worked within a hospital environment and wore this fragrance as their signature and the colleagues loved it, the clients loved it or clients' patients loved it because it's clean but like bougie clean. It is Chanel Number no. 5's sister, younger sister or cousin but much cleaner. Chanel Number no. 5's very clean, distant sister slash cousin <laughs> you've got the little remnants of jasmine and iris yeah nuanced florals chanel number 22 i'm not going to title it okay i'm not going to say best of or whatever you go out there and decide after smelling it yourself let me know what you think so the next fragrance is from a brand that absolutely has to be mentioned when you're talking about clean this brand does pretty much exclusively clean fragrances and they hail from Sweden. Swedes love to smell clean, Scandinavians love to smell clean, and it is Blanche by Byredo. Blanche is one of the OG Byredo fragrances, and actually my partner used to wear this fragrance, so unisex as always. This smells like clean florals. It smells like laundry detergent as well. There's a skin accord in there as well. Blanche, I would kind of recommend to also wear on skin because it does develop beautifully, depending on your chemistry or whatever if it works for you it is supposed to evoke clean sheets i mean it's called blanche it's called white so white clean sheets white shirts linens all of that and then a little bit of intimacy involved there as well a little bit of delicacy a little bit of skin um, it's also a scent that unlike many of like if you have a white musk or a pure ambroxan fragrance or pure aldehydes it might smell a little bit aloof, a little bit impersonal, but Blanche I find to smell quite personal. It smells like a signature scent for someone. So Iris is a floral that definitely evokes that cleanliness. If I were to pick out a floral that was delicate, you know, clean, pure, it would definitely be Iris. And this fragrance I find to be one of the cleanest irises. It is Apollonia by Serjoff. And I go to this fragrance when I want that clean iris to just last and last and last. This is why I go to Surge Off. It does not smell entirely natural. No, it does not at all. This is a lab grown iris <laughs> for sure, but it's also musky and it's also detergenty. Whoa, I don't know why my voice went up a little bit <laughs> an octave over there. And this one is just, yeah, delicate, white lace glove, clean shirt, innocent, 
inoffensive. Who would dislike this? Who would dislike you if you wore this? It has that little tinge of Play-Doh as well. <laughs> Please comment down below if you understand what I mean by that Play-Doh. It's like the Play-Doh texture, you know, what we used to play with as kids, some of us at least. Um, and yeah, Apollonia. Gentle, but durable. So now I'm venturing into more complex, clean fragrances. We started off with simple, one or two ingredients, that's it. And now we're going to more of a symphony. Number 22 is definitely a symphony as well, but you know, we're getting more and more complex here. So basic, go to the beginning of the video. More complex taste, go to the end of the video. This one is by Chabot, it's called Innocente Fragilité, so innocent fragility. This is a nice out of shower scent and now we're getting a little bit more floral clean. So Iris is a very inoffensive floral. This one will probably require some sort of taste for the florals as well. I get a lot of gardenia, jasmine, orange blossom, not so much orange blossom, more gardenia definitely in the forefront, that kind of creaminess of gardenia. And yeah, I find this to be a no-brainer out of shower fragrance. It's kind of in the same realm as Champs-Élysées by Guerlain, if you're familiar with that one. Innocent Fragilité. And Chabot, I just love the quality of their fragrances. They're, they don't shout, they're delicate, they're, you know, intricately thought through. You smell the quality of the ingredients, they don't give me a headache. For me, a test of whether or not ingredients are good is whether or not this fragrance gives me a headache or not. So, yeah, love Chabot. And then now we're going more into the realm of talcum powder. So, of course, talcum powder smells clean AF. That's what people used to use back in the day, you know, after showering to keep their themselves dry all day is talcum powder. But now we figured out talcum powder has all kinds of stuff in it that's not good for you. Um, but you can still get the scent through fragrance and or I'm not knocking anyone who uses talcum powder. My mom uses talcum powder and she loves it. There's just nothing fresher, cleaner, but a little bit more personal than talcum powder. And it smells like a baby, okay? Or how babies used to smell when it was like Johnson's and Johnson's brand uh, everywhere. So this one is talcum powder, but a little bit Middle Eastern, kind of in a Middle Eastern bougie route. The OG white talcum powder fragrance is Tante Neige by Villoresi. That one is like a no-brainer, but it's so popular I find. If you go to Italy, I smell that fragrance like on the terraces, people wearing it out in the summertime. And um, personally, I would recommend wearing that fragrance in the winter time versus summer because there's something just innocent and white about being in a snow-filled place and then smelling like white talcum powder on top of it. It's like you're the epiphany of pure. But anyways, I digress. Bella Bellissima, this is called Exquisite, Exquisite. And this one is actually, it's so clean. I think some people might interpret this one as slightly feminine. This is Turkish rose, jasmine, lily, and something called sambaca flower that they put in here. I don't really know much about that flower. Yeah, this is for the clean maximalists. You all know I love a maximal. <laughs> I think it would make a great bridal fragrance actually because it is powerful, strong. This is a luxury brand that, you know, boasts that longevity, sillage, all of that. Um, so granted that you like a little bit of a twist of Middle Eastern in your fragrances, then I'm sure you would enjoy Exquisite. So there we have it. Some of the clean fragrances out there that I would recommend for you to try if you want to smell fresh and so clean all summer, winter, fall, whatever. <laughs> I kind of stopped doing those season videos because there are no rules. You can also wear, you know, amber in the middle of summer. Who cares? But if you want me to bring them back, let me know and I will. I'll do what the people want. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please leave me a comment down below and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Smelling good. Share your sense of the day as well if you're wearing anything right now and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!